Fire ants are some of the most infamous ants in the world, with a painful venomous sting and an ability to invade pretty much any habitat and outcompete any native ant species for resources. But one of the weirdest fire ants in the world is making its invasive push through the southeastern United States, a large and growing population of hybrids between two different fire ant species. And there's a chance, if you live in this region, that they are right around your house right now. I'm Mikey Green, and today we're in northern Georgia to investigate these invasive hybrid ants. While it isn't our main target, it didn't take long to find one of the native ant species under threat of this hybrid fire ant invasion. This right here under me is a huge colony of one of the most common native ant species that you could find out here in urban areas in northern Georgia. This is Lazius neoniger, or the turf grass ant. These kind of nondescript brown ants are thankfully a native species that despite the invasion of the hybrid fire ant is flourishing in these very disturbed and urbanized areas. Members of the genus Lazius can be identified overall by their body shape and their very small eyes and their kind of fuzzy appearance. Besides the obvious habitat preference of living in open grassy areas in urbanized habitats, Lazius neoniger can actually be weirdly identified by looking extremely close at the first segment of the antennae, known as the scapes. You will see some extra erect or standing hairs on the antennal scapes that would not be present on the similar, almost identical species, Lazius americanus. Although these are super common here in northern Georgia, this is actually my first time ever finding this species, and seeing them everywhere has been an absolute treat. Don't want to disturb their colony too much because they are native and they are good for this ecosystem. And let's keep looking for that invasive hybrid fire ant. These native turf grass ants are a great sign that this grassy field is suitable ant habitat. And after some more scanning the ground for signs of an ant colony, we finally found what we were out here looking for. I see what looks like a little mound of soil. What are these? Oh, that's them. That's them. All right, children, this right here is one of the strangest invasive species that you could find out here in urban areas in northern Georgia. This is the hybrid fire ant, one of very few invasive ants that can be found in this region of Georgia because of just how well-preserved most of this habitat is. I have seen dozens and dozens of native ant species, more than 20 of which have been species I've never seen in my life before. But this is pretty much the only invasive species I've seen in this area. Now, I keep calling it an invasive species, but this technically isn't a species, but a hybrid between two species. You heard me right. These fire ants, the population of fire ants that lives in northern Georgia and some other regions of the southeastern United States, are hybrids because they're in an integrate zone between two different invasive species of fire ants. The red imported fire ant, or Solenopsis invicta, and the black imported fire ant, or Solenopsis richteri. Because of this, they look basically like an integrate between the two, being a much darker red than the average Solenopsis invicta that I find in Florida, which are bright red, almost a golden red sometimes, and are actually quite a bit shinier. They're quite a bit metallic looking, much shinier than the fire ants that I find in Florida, but not quite as black and shiny as Solenopsis richteri, the black fire ant. Besides the differences in coloration though, much about the hybrid fire ants is very similar to the red imported fire ants that you might be used to. I have noticed that these hybrid fire ants build much smaller and harder to notice mounts. But don't get me wrong, these are still some pretty destructive creatures. In the most urbanized of habitats in their range, the hybrid fire ant is one of the most commonly seen ants because of fire ants' ability to outcompete native species in their ranges. Thankfully, these hybrid fire ants have not found themselves invading the very wooded and damp areas. But these more open areas, like where we found those Lazius neoniger earlier, are where these hybrid fire ants like to live, which is why a lot of people in this region where they could be found might see these in their backyards, around their house, or just anywhere where there is human intervention and urban development. Now despite just being an invasive species and one that causes habitat destruction and eliminates many of its native competitors, this is also not an ant that you want to have around because you never know where one of their little hidden nests might be and these can pack a painful sting. So I'm going to take it out of this tube and let it walk on me and see if it delivers one of those painful stings. All 
All right, I am free handling this hybrid fire ant now. And it seems to just think that it's walking on just some ordinary surface. It doesn't seem to be bothered by the fact that it's walking on me right now. I never say this because a lot of times when animals act in harming us, they are defensive. But if I had to say that one animal is aggressive, it would be these fire ants. I have been stung completely just unprovoked by red imported fire ants back home in Florida. But this hybrid fire ant is actually just kind of walking around. Hasn't noticed that it is on a potential predator yet. Just looking at this, I could really see the difference in coloration and texture from the normal red imported ants that I see back in Florida. This is actually a little bit bigger than the red imported fire ants that I see in Florida. This is a minor worker, but the major workers of this hybrid are actually a lot bulkier looking than the ones that I see in Florida. And they have this really interesting bicolored gaster or that bulbous abdomen that makes them look extra strange. But these minor workers only have the black abdomen and the kind of dark burgundy reddish shiny rest of the body and head. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about these hybrid ants that are invading the United States right now. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we explore a conflict going on in Florida between two different invasive species of fire ants. Enjoy!